Hello, 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 Tevas, Diamonds, and Dolls. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk about are you his trophy? Being a trophy to a man does not mean that you are some dingy chick who's just sitting and waiting for his beck and call. You are not someone who's just sitting on a mantle waiting to be dusted and shined off to be looked at and paid attention to. You are not someone who he has not spoken to, hooked up with, talked to in a couple of days, a week, months, or whatever. You are not just a phone call away for this brother to be at his beck. In call. I'm not talking about that because there are trophies who sit and wait and do nothing but collect dust and wait to be shined up and a phone call to be made before they're acknowledged, before they get any type of attention. Just like a trophy that somebody has won 10, 12 years ago. I am talking about, are you a trophy for a man that belongs to you? And I don't mean just the fact that he has won you, he's won your heart, you have his time, his attention, you guys are together, things of that nature. You've already won, he's already won. You are his trophy because you have already won out of other women who may have been attracted to, drawn to, interested in him, and vice versa. When I speak of being his trophy, the men, our men, and when I say our men, I mean all men. Men have this struggle that they go through in life. They go through things that we go through also, but we're talking about masculine and feminine energy. So I'm speaking from the masculine standpoint and him being in masculine energy and we being feminine women flowing in our feminine energy. So when I speak of the man being in the workplace, there's always competition. Wherever the man is, there's always competition. He has to compete for sales. He has to compete for ideas he has to compete you know at the workplace he has to compete wherever he is in corporate or in the workplace in the marketplace he's competing with masculine men with people all day so in that competitive arena of life wherever he is he's not only competing when he's at work, when he leaves work, when he leaves home, he's not sure how his day is going to be. With the world that we live in, society we live in, from day to day, people, it doesn't matter what race, color, creed you are, or he is, people, especially the man, is in competition all day. You have people who have road rage along on the roads, He's competing to get home safe, to get to work safe. Because if he just happens to make a wrong turn or somebody's in a bad mood that wants to cut him off and, you know, he looks like he said something, there's no guarantee his life is not precious to someone else. So he's in competition in a sense of getting to his destination and not encountering someone who is just not in the mood and doesn't value his life. And that's just one example. There are plenty of other examples of getting from one destination to the next destination and being people being competitive and the masculine man having to compete with people in general in the corporate world, in the workplace. But when he comes home, the masculine man, when he makes it to that door, he wants to assure and know that when he enters home, it's going to be a place of peace and a safe haven for him. 
So when I say, are you his trophy? This is what a trophy does. A trophy flowing in the fluidity of her feminine radiance. His day has been rough. His day has been competitive. Not only is she soft and sweet and nurturing and consistent and things of that nature, but when he needs to talk and she's listening and taking it in what he's saying, she is also the voice. The softness of her voice, voice has the power to remind him of the victories of the competitions he's already won. That's what the trophy symbolizes. She reminds him of the great victories that he's already won, how he had to prepare to get to where he is. And now that he's gotten there, the victory is his. You can't give up something that you worked so hard to get because life is hard. Because things are difficult. Because you have to compete with other people. That's what makes the world go around. So you have to remind him sometime. That you are out in the world. Competing against the world. Fighting in a world that may not like or respect you. But you are the tr trophy that says to him. But you are still great. The greatness in you is worth you getting up and continue to go out and continue to be great, to succeed, to prosper, to progress, to let your light shine. You are the voice of encouragement. You stand. Your feminine radiance is so beautiful. That you can touch him and remind him of the greatness. What it took for him to get there. When you think of the trophy, people who play basketball and football and tennis and whatever the sport is. When they look at that trophy, it says that I won a victory. This is what you are here to show your mate. You won the victory. You are a winner. You will always be a winner. Where you are, no one could ever take the greatness from you of who you are. No matter what they bring to the table. No matter how great they appear to be. You are greater. No position can be taken away from you. Unless there is a greater position for you. So this is what the trophy does. She reminds him of who he is. The greatness within him. That he can. He has done it before. Excel and ex succeed. Are you a trophy? When your man comes into the house and the world is against him. And the storm is raging in him. And his mind is on what has transpired and what's going on and who's coming up next and things of that nature. Are you a reminder to him that he's great? That he's a champion? That he's a warrior? A conqueror? Are you a sweet spot for him to... Listen to what it is that you were saying after he has trusted you and laid his cares on you. What is your comeback? Being a trophy is not just being arm candy, eye candy, someone who can look, look good on his arm or look good in his car but have nothing to invest when he needs you. Being a trophy is not just being that pretty young thing that all the boys, his boys may brag about. What can you bring to the table when he needs you, when he needs the reminder of who he is? 
That's what the feminine energy does. She helps him. She heals. She has heal healing presence to touch that masculine energy and soften the hardness of his day-to-day -day life. She soothes, brings warmth and peace to chaos. Are you his trophy? Or are you just a showpiece trophy? Be a man's trophy. If you have him, you should be a trophy. A feminine woman flowing in the fluidity of your feminine radiance. This is Femininity with Mama Gail. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Continue to be a trophy for that man. Have a blessed day.